Epson EcoTank at 2803. The Epson EcoTank at 2800 is a super tank printer that yields an incredible number of pages. It keeps running costs outstandingly low, since the ink bottle refills are cheap, making it a great option for printing in bulk. Its flatbed scanner's high resolution can capture fine details, and you can scan very thick media, since you can detach the entire scan lid. Additionally, it prints great quality photos with smooth gradients and vibrant, fairly accurate colors. Unfortunately, its build quality is mediocre, with sheet rollers that are difficult to reach in case of paper jams, and it prints slowly. It also lacks an automatic document feeder, meaning it isn't a viable option for easily digitizing multi-page documents. We tested the Epson EcoTank at 2800. There's an Epson EcoTank at 2803 variant, it's the same printer, but exclusive to Walmart and Target. Our review applies to both models. The Epson EcoTank at 2800 performs well for family use. Its cheap ink bottle refills and incredible page yields mean it's remarkably cheap to maintain in the long run, easing the load on your wallet. It prints great-looking, vibrant photos, and its color accuracy is fine for everyday use. It has a high-resolution flatbed scanner, but the lack of an and in francs makes digitizing multi-page documents cumbersome. Pros incredibly cheap cost per print. Prints great-looking, vibrant photos. Has a high-resolution flatbed scanner. Cons lacks an automatic document feeder. Can print directly from external storage. The F2800 are capable of printing, copying, and scanning. With sublimation printing, copying and scanning capabilities are not critical to have, but they can be useful in other ways. The printer has a small footprint so it's great for small spaces. It measures approximately 15x7x13, 5x xhxd, and weighs under 9 pounds. The paper input tray is at the back so you will need a few inches of space behind the printer when your sublimation paper is loaded. Check out the description for more information in latest price.